Ladies and gentlemen, it is the Russell Cage Experience come to you on here, right here. Yeah, I just messed up that phrase completely. Right here on YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook. And uh, I think I wanted to reschedule my Q&A days to uh, the weekend, uh, either Friday or Saturday, more than likely Saturdays, um, due to the <clears throat> fact that SmackDown uh, will be on tonight, and I'm going to try my best to do a SmackDown review. Uh, but... I've got here questions here from Echo Ray, uh, Mr. Kiwi, and uh, Cool Samurai uh, that I'm going to address here. And uh, I'm going to get that done. And out of the way, that way you all have a video from me this week uh, besides the, the Raw review. Uh, so I've got some things that I'm uh, going to be doing here. I'm going to be doing theater once again. Uh, but I'll try to address that in another video. But anyway. Uh, Q&A is the situation we have on our hands here, uh, and we'll start out with Echo Ray 2736. Um, his question was, how do you think WWE will mask race suspension? Uh, and, and to stop right there, um, they've not really masked it. Uh, they've basically had an article on WWE.com um, informing people that he has been suspended. Um, but I'm not sure how the, the, the rest of the question goes. Uh, do you think they'll fit it into a storyline, fake him have an injury, this, that, and the other? Um, they they actually told people what happened, how they're going to bring it off on TV. Uh, however, I don't know. Um, I don't think they'll say, yeah, Ray's being suspended for a uh, wellness policy violation. Uh, <clears throat> but I don't think they'll come out and say that on the TV show. Uh, but they will certainly... Uh, I think that... <clears throat> Well, let me rephrase it. If it was me, I would put the title on somebody else until Ray comes back. Um, it is a month. There is a pay-per-view uh, in which the Intercontinental title can be defended. Uh, so, I mean, <clears throat> there really needs to be a title defense for that Intercontinental title because it's been gaining uh, a lot of its prestige back, if you will, um, here lately. Personally, I would put it on Dolph Ziggler. Um, so, I mean, that's me. And then, uh, since Sean Morrison's not in the World Heavyweight title picture just yet, uh, put the number one contendership, I guess, on John Morrison uh, versus Dolph Ziggler for the Intercontinental title at uh, breaking point. So, um, <clears throat> that that's how I, I think it should be done, whether WWE goes that route or not. I don't know. They're, they're sometimes not that intelligent of a group of people. So, uh, <clears throat> But they, they have let everybody know that it is, in fact, uh, Ray Mysterio that has been suspended uh, due to the wellness policy violation on their website. So, Echo Ray2736, thank you for that question right there. Cool Samurai 5 has the next question, and his question is, if you were to have your own 10-man Money in the Bank ladder match, what superstars from past and present Past and present, I like that. Would you put in, and who do you think would win the match? And um, I made a list here uh, of people I put in. Uh, I put five past, five present uh, superstars in the mix. Um, first one would be Ted DiBiase Jr., Million Dollar Man Son, Money in the Bank, Why Not? Uh, it, it, it actually would work, and, and probably a lot of you were expecting that answer. Uh, so, Ted Jr., John Morrison... Dolph Ziggler, MVP, and Chris Jericho. Uh, because John Morrison and Chris Jericho have put on great matches to begin with. And, and, and the rest of those people, and, and Chris Jericho and MVPs had some great, uh, or a great match uh, that I can recall. Um, these are the shining stars, uh, if you will, of today. Um, at, at least in my eyes they are. Uh, I think that these five versus versus five pres, uh, past people uh, would be very entertaining. Uh, and my five past people are Ted DiBiase Sr. Once again, money in the bank can't be without it without Ted DiBiase. Um, well, it could, but it, I think it would like to work out a little bit better. Ted Sr., RBD, because we haven't seen much of him uh, or heard much from him uh, here lately. So, RBD... Uh, he would do a lot of high flying stuff. At least I think he would. It, it, to me, he would. Um, Ric Flair. As long as he doesn't get superplexed off of ladders and all that, 
Um, I think he would add to the mix, help get some of the younger guys over. The I'm back and dream, if you will, Dusty Rhodes, baby. That way we could have the I'm back and dream right there on the match, making it a dream come true, if you will, if you win the money in the bank briefcase, baby. Uh, so Dusty Rhodes. Uh, I know a lot of you like my Dusty Rhodes impression, so I figured I'd give you one. Uh, Dusty Rhodes, and last but not least, certainly, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, because uh, even now, he is still pretty awesome uh, in the ring. So, uh, I think all ten of these men would put on a great show, uh, especially with it being a ladder match. Some of them have been in ladder matches, some of them haven't. Uh, I think it would be a good um, showing and well-rounded match if, if all these people were involved. Uh, so, Cool Samurai 5, thank you for that uh, question right there. Uh, and Mr. Kiwi 101 uh, sends this question, just wondering what your thoughts are on possibly bringing back the mainly the ECW TV title, but also the hardcore European titles uh, and so on and so forth uh, as well. Uh, personally, WWE is at a standpoint right now where it does not need uh, any more titles. Uh, I think it has, uh, in a way, too many titles to begin with right now. Um, you got three main brand championships right now. Uh, three main championships on each brand, uh, as, as in the uh, heavyweight titles and whatnot. Uh, then you have the Intercontinental and U.S. title. Unified tag titles, which is still technically two sets of tag team titles, so um, I'm not sure how that works. So I'm just going to count them each as their own separate title. Uh, even though they're unified. Uh, you know what? No, I'm not. I'm just going to count as one title. Um, the women's title and the Divas title, they've got eight titles total uh, in the WWE um, roster to begin with. That, I think, is too many. I think mainly um, the two Divas title or the Women's Championships, um, the two of those, I think they were overkill, personally. I know that some of the Divas on the other show were not getting a shot, but if they wanted to, they could honestly have the Women's title uh, defended like the Unified Tag Team titles are being defended. If I mean, it, it, it would just make logical sense. Uh, ECW, right now, the roster is not, uh, doesn't have much depth to it. Uh, so I think it would be pointless to put another title in that scenario. I think the ECW Championship is enough for it there. Um, as far as the hardcore European titles, European title uh, technically can still be considered in a way a, an Intercontinental or U.S. title. Uh, we really don't need one uh, personally. Uh, and if it was up to me, I'd probably just put one Intercontinental Championship and have it defended on all three brands like the Unified Tag title. So, uh, and, and the Hardcore Championship, we don't really see that many Hardcore matches anymore. Uh, there's really no need for it. It was just uh, for the Attitude Era. Uh, and especially with the PG rating they've got now, uh, I really don't see a Hardcore title being in, in the picture scenario. So, uh, that's that's my answer to that. Mr. Kiwi 101, thank you for that question. Uh, and once again, everybody, thank you for your questions. Uh, I'm going to try to do these on Saturdays, like I said before, um, and uh, I, w I will address, hopefully, uh, in the coming days, what's going on in my life here at college and, and why I've been busy, so uh, with that being said, you guys have a great weekend, I'll hopefully have a SmackDown review up later, uh, keyword hopefully, uh, if not, uh, you guys have a great weekend, have a great Labor Day, uh, if, if you're off from, from work and school and whatnot, have a great day there. Uh, and, and a nice long weekend. Take it easy, guys. Relax. Have fun. Enjoy the weather outside. Uh, but with that being said, I'm out of here. Uh, so, guys, peace out.